Hello again guys, 2E0VOV um, playing with a um, replicating a PAR NFED or NFEDS half wave antenna um, basically uh, this is a three band version 10, uh, 20 and 40 um, I'm using a 10 meter fishing pole or roach pole uh, which I used for many a project before convenient nice and light anyway so basically we're on the rough setup at the moment and if I just scan up there a bit hopefully the camera will catch up hopefully there we go and uh, there we are you can probably see the choke uh, I will give you more info on it in a minute um, overall length probably I don't know probably about 12 and a half, 13 meters, I suppose, the actual element, somewhere in that region. Now, I followed some guides that I found from online. As usual, you get more than one opinion on how to do any antenna. Some work, some don't. So for me, I've made my matcher as basically my, my uh, transformer, two twisted pair, followed by another um, 14 I think it was 14 single all the way around now when I say things vary I mean you uh, you start off with the information that some you know um, people tell you that uh, on various forums that they've done it and it's worked for them and um, you get different opinions on how many turns you should have on the core you get uh, different opinions on what capacitance works and what doesn't so I will just tell you what's worked for me uh, and show you the results and you take it from there. Um, now you may notice there's a bit of a strange going on in here. Now simple answer is nearly every website I check on everybody says 150 picofarad capacitor on the input will drag your 20 and 10 meter um, resonance in line so they should both basically dip around the same amount or same point um, well mine didn't um, my my lowest point was about 14.2 meg on 20 when it was about 29.3 on 10 so to correct that I've had to uh, play with various capacitance and I've ended up getting down to a hundred picofarad in a strange fashion as you may see I've effectively put two in parallel those two in parallel there and then fed in series to this one so there's three in there 150 picofarad each but they actually give the equivalent of a hundred and that squared things up lovely now the dip is in the right place so anyway moving on from that so the core in there FT140 43 um, is wrapped in plumber's tape for the risk of arcing etc it's just a, a cautious way of dealing with it okay stainless fittings as I always use the box there is about 100 mil um, 9800 something like that so anyway single wire obviously because it's a half wave no counterpoise because the way it's working is intended for portable to so say it goes all out the pole and then down and after that it's just nylon all the way down just literally to hold the tail out in a workable fashion so moving on over to the meter okay now it's quite narrow banded in 40 which is understandable because it's choked um, let's reset that a minute sat here dormant too long right here we go so you're looking at about 100k width so about 7.12 so 1.2 to 1 about 54 ohms we can't argue over that can we I mean at the end of the day the coax can change that the length of your coax anyway 
no problem with that. As I say, if you wanted to look at it as a sense, you could say from about an SWR of about, let's say 1.5, will take you from, in this particular case, 7075 or so. And up to the top would be, if you're staying in the band of 1.5, Seven, yeah, 100k. Look at that. So it's not bad. Let's be fair. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so moving on. 14 meg. Now I can't get this to run as low as I'd like, but it doesn't matter. And you'll see why in a moment. Lowest point is around there. About in. Yep. 1.4 best I can manage at the moment but to be fair the antenna is trapped at the moment between many various things including swings fences garage and there's a metal roof on that garage so I won't worry too much at the moment the impedance is still oh dear have a look where our finger is the impedance 47 not bad moving on to the 10 This is about as flat as it gets as around there 1.2 but say if you got about four still 1.2 so good little antenna good little antenna it seems to be doing all right we'll wait until we get it out of the being boxed in so tight with trees and garages and so on and we'll see what results we get then but yeah i'm impressed it certainly looks like it's going to do a good job so anyway wait until we see next time on the uh, air and we'll give it a proper test. 2E0 VOV saying 73s to the next update. Bye bye.